All right, what is going on everyone? And welcome back to another grind video. So this one is a little bit different. It is one of the newer spots and by newer, I mean most recently released. And we're gonna be doing a little bit of the Murrowax Labyrinth. And I remember doing this back when it came out. I have some videos of it, but for the sake of doing this, just to show you guys what it's like nowadays after a lot of changes, I think they um, made it a lot easier to get to the boss. I wanted to show you guys what it was all about. So first of all, when you go to Mountain of Eternal Winter, we look at the Murrowax Labyrinth. Apparently it's a 280 AP spot and 350 DP. I think that's good. Um, overall, I think the, what you really want to do is have like faster clear speed. So I think technically if you're playing a Dark Knight, for example, I think Awakening is a little bit better here, but it's not really like you're not going to have any problems for the most part. So this spot is a place where you can get the flame or the embers for the Labresca helmet. And so what we're going to go through is a few tunnels and just showing you how it works, some of the bosses and like the mechanics of it. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it. I don't know how long as it'll take to get us to the boss or if we can even solo the boss. So we'll see. All right, so we're heading in. Uh, so basically the way this grind spot works is technically, think of it like there are four um, sides in a circle, right? So like every corner, and then each person has their own like corridor or room and you basically fight off a lot of waves of enemies and it's it's basically that the loot here is mostly coming from bosses but you just like everything swarms you and you just kind of survive for each room which is about like 10 minutes or something 10 15 minutes and eventually if there's a lot of people here, you wait for a boss to spawn and you just fight the queen again. So maybe I'll put a video or a clip at the end from an old one because I don't know how many people are actually here. If we could get it, that's awesome as well. And I'll see how many people and maybe we'll actually do it. So basically it's a lot of wave defense and you could turn on your loot thingy. I, I don't think this matters, but I guess for science, let's see. I don't think there's like anything really noteworthy for these rooms. The time you turn it on is for the later stuff. So things, notifications will pop up later when a boss is spawning. And then when you see like a little hive cluster thingy, that's when you basically go out and focus it. Yeah, there's uh, four different rooms as far as I remember, and they all are kind of the same. But there's like, technically it looks different. You just keep doing this until you get a notification of a boss spawn. So here's a elite enemy. When you see those happening, but that's not, I don't think that's an elite, is it? But let's be real, if you're here, oh, there it is, there's one of them. If you're here, you're mostly here for the embers and you're going for your first or second Labresca helm. And I still think the Jade Starlight Forest is a little bit better, assuming you have the gear here. So this place recommends 280. Jade Starlight Forest is also 280. Realistically, I'd probably grind there, but it's always fun if you want like a calming grind spot of just mind numbing waves of enemies. Might as well just turn this on. I don't... Let me see. What's the loot? 11k. Yeah, I don't think here is worth using Agris, but... 
what we will do is at least turn wait, try to get 2000 so when you see the burrows over here you want to get those down as fast as possible because it's just uh, more spawning everywhere I don't know how they did this, but some of the burrows spawn like sideways. <laughs> I don't know if that's intentional, but it's like a cool feature. The best part or the best thing I would recommend all of you guys, if you're planning on trying this out and you don't have an infinite potion is stay near the center. Don't like get yourself cornered or anything that's like the worst thing you can do because i remember when this first came out um obviously i wasn't as geared as i am now i've gotten like close to getting clapped multiple times and best trick i could give to you guys starting out just learning it is don't stay too mobile like just run back and forth if you need to but for the most part whatever you do just don't get surrounded don't get cc'd Try not to anyway. Do I even have to write crystals in? Oh, okay, I think I do. It would be awesome if uh, we can actually get in uh, to the boss fight, and then I'll show you how it works. Otherwise, I'll see if I can find a clip of when I had it before, and we'll show you how it's done. This will pop one of these. Commander spawned. Yeah, just find the one that says like a leader. Those are the elite tags. And so you guys can see all the loot that we're getting here. Honestly, it's kind of, uh, all the loot really comes in after the boss, which is kind of annoying and not as special as you may imagine. But this is like, I like the concept. The general of Mercedes appear. Let's do that. So the crystal carapace thing that you saw, what that does is right after you fight the boss, right? What it'll do is uh, an NPC will show up at the end and you trade those crystals for like a bag of random goodies. And those goodies can be um, potentially an ember or a flame. I think they actually did buff the rewards like last year. It's not a recent change, but they did change it. So the more f bosses you fight, as you guys can see, defeat leaders, two out of seven. That's my daily quest. And uh, I don't think there's like any set pattern. It just kind of goes on each like arena or room is like 10, 15 minutes. And you just kind of keep on going until it's like here, the room settles down, go to the next room or something like that. However, I do think this is pretty quick for like kill quests and if like you have to kill 2000 or something, this is very quick for it. Leader uh, number three. Yeah, ideally 
clearing bosses as fast as possible. The way to go. So maybe within another like two minutes, we should be able to um, go to the next room and I'll show you how it's done. Oh yeah, there's also doors at like the edges that look kind of look like the burrows where you entered. And so whether it's like you have to go and you can't stay for the entire time, you could just leave anyway. It's not a big deal. Another boss. Yeah, so like don't stand where the boss is. You might get like cornered. So you, what you would ideally do, stand in the front of it. So that way you can move backwards in case anything happens. We just have two bosses now. Uh-oh. Nice. A title. This definitely feels a lot more rewarding than it was uh, when the region came out. I've generally been leaving those alive because I'm trying to get this kill quest done, but newer player, if you see one, pop it. You get less ads. Wait, what? Where is it? Is it stuck in the... Tr it's stuck in the hive. Like, I saw it on the map, but I couldn't see it. The webs. Okay, so basically, uh, this means we cleared the first stage, and then there's two doors. This one uh, gives you the option to go back out and leave, or go back into another one. Let's do another one just to show you guys what it's like. Actually, feels like there's not that many other people in this on this channel. Like some other channels are actually full. We'll push a thousand quests or two thousand kills. And then if the boss doesn't spawn, I'll just try to find a clip of me doing it before. But yeah, we're at five out of seven bosses down.
Okay, we got three of these already. But you have to actually complete the boss at the end to actually use them. leaders to go. Overall, though, like the silver in this place I don't think it's that great. Not a boss, I don't think. However, these rewards, they give you like 10 Capras each, and that's pretty nice for what? Maybe uh, 20 minutes of work. Where are you? Dang, we got it, but didn't even get a crystal. Feels bad. don't want these they have like the same crystals one is for event but one is a real item if you leave up those big ones they'll start doing little earthquake tremors under you and those kind of hurt Overall, though, this spot is a peaceful grind since it's all solo. And so if you're ever wondering or just want a place to do chill stuff, this is probably it. I'm only going to go until I get about uh, 2,000 kills. So hope a boss spawns within then, but... Not a big deal if it doesn't.
Earth shaking. No orange crystal? Feels bad. Back in the day, it was like actually, um, generally once an hour is when the big boss will spawn, but that's assuming like the boss is just killed and the reset usually happens about like four or five different cycles of a room. Elite enemy is up. That's why I think we're getting shattered somewhere. There it is. I have a feeling that Megu, Megu, Wusa are like really good here. They're just AoEs are huge. Another leader. We're almost done with this wave then. Usually double bosses spawn near the end. Shatter up somewhere. Or Earth Shaker, whatever they call it. For a newer player, this part is one of the things that get tricky when there's a lot of them. I think this is the boss. I think this is it. Okay, uh... I don't know if this is soloable, but <laughs> is there an escape escape just in case? It's like, if you die, you do lose crystals here. So let me like wait a minute to see if there's anyone's. I actually have no idea if this is soloable. Oh. Uh... I feel like I should actually... 
I'll show you a little bit, but if it's if it looks like I'm not making progress. Uh, let me see. We shall see. So yeah, you keep fighting them until the boss spawns. Um, it's been a while. I actually have no idea if this is soloable. I might just actually just get clapped and lose a crystal, but we're doing it for a video. So there's a bunch of waves. Wondering if I had, uh, do I still have my budget crystal set up? They do a bunch of waves. And the boss spawns. Pray for me, boys. I might just lose a billion silver here. I really hope one thing, if they did anything, they scale it towards the number of people in this arena. Because that would help a lot. I've only done this twice, by the way. Pray for this. Pray for me, boys. I have no idea what the AoE on the big powerful attack means. But I do actually want to kill the mini leaders on the side. Oh, the HP bar looks different. It's going to orange. That means I feel like I'm doing something. might get hit here. <laughs> the HP bar is uh, changing colors. Good. Yeah, it's red now. That's nice. Oh, we did it. Soloed. All right. So what did we actually get? We didn't lose crystals. That's nice. We got one Ember of Frost, uh, six blacks or six weapon stones, five armor stones, six Capra stones. Basically, L. Um, but the, I think the highlight of what you really have to do here is... You go to the NPC and where we got these orange crystals, there should be an NPC that you talk to and then turn them all in. So, yeah, you change, change these for valuables and then this is what you can get. Ideally, what everyone wants is the straight up flame of frost, or but realistically, embers are the way to go as well. So... 
Let's open these. We have one. We got one blackstone weapon, one blackstone armor. Not so good. Same thing. Another one. And another one. Got four boxes and didn't get anything. That's cool. Get me out of here. We're done. So, that's basically this grind spot in a nutshell. Sometimes it takes longer to get to the boss. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, I just remember my first time in here, I kind of got clapped. Uh, you know, hold up. I want to go in and finish up this quest. I'm at 1900. I should have taken the third daily, but I wasn't sure if I could do it. So, let me just go in and then finish up to 2000 and we're out. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I guess while we're wrapping up here, tell you about everything. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, drop a quick like on the video. I hope you enjoyed it actually. And um, these videos are hopefully here for people who are looking to get better at the game. I've been playing BDO since the beta, so basically seven years. And back when I started playing, there weren't any guides or anything. There weren't that many content creators. So I had to figure a lot of this stuff out myself. And nowadays, I just want to help people like get into the game or get better at it. I think that's pretty awesome because the last, like, it doesn't matter how good all your gear is if the game is dead. And, um, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully you all enjoy the game actually. And if you have any questions, join the discord, uh, leave it in the comments. I'll try to read it when I can. And yeah. My plan for a lot of this grind stuff is throughout the year of 2023 and forward. What I want to do is try to grind all the relevant spots or just unique ones like this one and show you guys how it's done. So for all of you who are new or returning you can figure out how it all works. And yeah, where is the burrow exit? You could leave just midway, by the way. It's not a big deal. But yep, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. Peace.